for veterans in small cities and towns across the country. It's a very scattershot type of uh, trades around here. It's a shared experience. I know a, a lot of friends of mine uh, are having a hard time getting out and getting out. Um, find an occupation, you know. Van Woodruff had heard the stories. High paying jobs in his hometown were hard to find. Turns out, a hobby at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. You know, I got my mind off of just being stuck in that rut. Something he picked up to fight anxiety, turned to opportunity. I call them leather biographies where I can tell your history, your career on a piece of leather. A canvas that for many post-military is often blank. At 9%, the unemployment rate for veterans is higher than the national average. These are individuals who are making life and death decisions out there when they were in the military. As combat operations wind down and the military shrinks, Georgia alone is preparing for an influx of as many as 80,000 veterans, each needing a job. How do you take that skill that you learned in the Army and make that translate into a civilian job? And a lot of our men and women that are coming out of the military uh, don't understand how to do that. At career fairs like this one, people far outnumber jobs. There's a renewed urgency for training, preparedness. It's why some veterans, like Van Woodruff, had to get creative. You know, I might not own a yacht one day or whatnot, but I, uh, I definitely can make a, a livelihood off of it. A self-made career, hoping to beat the odds. Alex Sands, The Associated Press, Alexandria, Alabama.